Um, I think it's a good conversation to have in general because, um, you know, what you all are trying to do is to get out there, be in the community, let people know that they're safe and, and let people know that you're on their team as well when it comes to keeping the city safe. Yeah, I mean, I live here. I mean, I have kids here. I have grandkids here. And um, I've said it before, and I, this is no, um, I'm not saying this for the sake of television. Mm -hmm. I love Jacksonville. Um, I chose to live here. I chose to make this my home, and I want my home to be as safe as possible. I want the people to live here to feel as safe and as comfortable as possible. Listen, in order to have a great city, we have to have public safety. We have to have a safe city. Businesses want to come. Um, everyone thrives when everything's safe. So that's our ultimate goal, and I want to share as much information with people as I can. Yeah, and you know, just kind of behind the scenes for us here, you know, Vic working with television, you know, very well. Um, our goal in television is to inform and to keep people safe. So it's a good partnership here. Um, also, I think, I mean, I know you've made yourself more available to the media, even coming and having meetings with people at our station to try to figure out ways to get information out there. So these meetings will take place over a series of some weeks. Talk about this first town hall for District 1. So we're going to be at the public library. Um, and we're going to discuss whatever issues. We're going to tell you about the agency, where we are, where we're going, where we sit today. And then we're going to, the biggest thing, I think people want to ask questions. And so we're going to open it up for questions and let people ask questions. And whatever we can answer there, we're going to answer. Whatever we can't answer while we're there during that time frame, we're going to answer every question that, that's posed to us. I think it's important, the engagement, to be able to discuss issues um, and talk about things that people are concerned about. Yeah, and Vic, I know you're moderating. You know, we have to say not everybody's happy with police. You know, you have a community sure. that has been very divided at times and has questioned whether the police are for everyone. Um, talk about how you're going to field some of those questions because you'll be there, but then also some other officers as well. At the end of the day, Melanie, we are in the customer service business. Public safety is number one, but we want to talk to our customers and we want to meet everybody where they are, which is why we are doing this in their individual neighborhoods. Last year, highly successful when JSO had it in downtown Jacksonville. We know not everybody has a car. We know not everybody has the time to travel downtown. So we're doing it in six different districts and they get to meet the officers that patrol their streets and look at the specific challenges in their communities and the triumphs as well. Mm -hmm. and, and we are doing this because we are winning people over one at a time. We know that it's been a difficult climate. You know that, I know that, everybody knows that. But we're showing that we do things well here in Jacksonville. We are a city that cares. The people that make up the sheriff's office and this entire community really, really care about the health and the safety and the security. So we're doing this. And let me tell you, we are winning people over every single day. Going out on walks this past Saturday, uh, we walked together with a, a lot of our sheriff's officers and met people in Northwest Jacksonville and and changed some minds yeah. about interactions and, with the police. You know, and Sheriff, as, as Vic's point, one person at a time, and, yep. and you believe as well that's what it's going to take. Yep. I mean, that's that's a that's a challenge. It it's not going to be easy. How do you propose this um, kind of happening over even the next year or so? Because it's not going to happen overnight. So we're going to continue the walks, and we're going to continue to share as much information as possible. Um, if it's legal. There's nothing prohibiting us from the statutes. Um, if, it's, um, if it doesn't interfere with ongoing cases, we'll show it to our public. We're wide open. Um, there's nothing to hide. And, and this is, for the longest time, I've wanted people to be able to see what goes on mm -hmm. within the agency. I think Vic's even learned some things that he, I mean, from the sure. outside looking I'm in, sure. he never yeah. knew. Um, it's a large operation, and there's a lot that goes on there every single day. And we want to share that with people. We want people to understand everything that's involved. That's why we sat down about uh, a week ago, or two weeks ago, and did a, uh, a presentation on our budget right. and where the money goes and mm -hmm. how it's actually spent. Yeah. So I think it's important for taxpayers to know where their money is going. All right, Sheriff, thank you so much, Vic, um, Community Engagement Director. Thank you both for coming in. Um, again, keep an eye out. That first meeting is on Thursday for District 1, and then every Thursday after that, there will be more. So use this opportunity to get out there, ask the questions, and you heard the sheriff say it here, that if they don't have the answer, they will get it to you. So be engaged and figure out what's going on in your community and have a voice in that as well. So Please thank do. you. MCS. All right. We want